The Pennsylvania Department of Health is still dealing with a Moderna vaccine mishap where second doses were given as first doses. According to the department, that vaccine mix-up will take a few weeks to correct. And as Chris Hoffman reports, this leaves pharmacies not knowing when their second doses will arrive. The state is guaranteeing if you got your first dose of the vaccine, you will get your second. As to when, that's a question some providers don't have an answer for quite yet. Having communication would be really nice to know what to say to people. Blueberry Pharmacies, Dr. Kyle McCormick says he has a wait list of 16,000 people for the COVID-19 vaccine, and he is now dealing with the Moderna vaccine mix-up. Clearer communication, better planning from the beginning really would have prevented all of this. Right now, he does not have his second doses of the Moderna vaccine, but he's optimistic about getting it soon. The state says they're, provide, they're prioritizing second doses. Um, so I'm hopeful that means that we will get the second doses. State leaders say not labeling the boxes of the Moderna vaccine may have played a factor in the mix up. Some providers may not have been aware that one box was for second doses and one box was for first doses. And to make up for the mishap, some pharmacies may be delayed in getting their second doses. Dr. McCormick says the state needs to give providers a timeline on when the vaccine should arrive. I would not want to have to deal with the, the, the headache of not knowing until the day before that we're going to get those. At this point, he is telling his patients he has no word on when a second dose clinic could happen, but he promises to get a second dose to those who need it. You know, you're going to get it. You're going to get a second dose. You're, you know, they're prioritizing second doses. I just can't give you a date as to when. Dr. McCormick says if you're delayed in getting your second dose, do not panic. He says if you're pushed back a week or two, that's well within the CDC's guidelines for getting the shots. He says there's no need to start the vaccination process all over again. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.